What is going on, everyone? Mike O back doing another box break. So this is a product I used to always look forward to, and I actually used to do a lot of group breaks in it, a lot of draft breaks where it was just random draft slots and you could do pretty well sometimes. Topps Archive Signature Series. These are buyback autographs. These are active player edition. I actually always kind of preferred the retired player edition. You could get some really good Hall of Famers in it. Of course, you could also get a lot of like guys who are pretty good players and fan favorites, but didn't go for a lot. Anyway, go back five years back, you know, closer to when it started. Checklist was a little smaller, a little better, and price was definitely a lot cheaper. Now prices have gone up. When these come out, they're like $75 a box. So one card per box. I'm about to break a 2022 and a 2023. This is a one and done, and it's uh, it's a buy singles product, as most uh, products are, but we will see how we do. So let's uh, slip that one. We will slip that one and see what we've got. Active player. I think the 2023 version has like... 120 different signers there's probably like 15 that are you know what you would consider desirable not that there's not cool cards in there and cool players you can get for your collection but we'll see all right here's the 2022 version and okay again this is a card you're going to lose money on for the cost of the box but it fits the collection really well it's jt real muto philly's catcher one of the best catchers in baseball, and it's on an Allen and Ginter, so that's actually pretty sweet. Serial numbered 5 of 35. Of course, as a Phillies fan and Phillies collector, I'd prefer him in the Phillies uniform, but still pretty cool right there. JT Real Muto. And let's check out the 2023 version. You could definitely do worse than Real Muto, no doubt about it. And I actually, over the years, I haven't done a lot of buying this year from the product, but I would always chase the Allen and Ginter autographs. Um, it just became a really good way to pick some of them up. All right, so let's see what we got in the 2023 version. I do like the Ginter autographs. I like the Topps flagship and some other products. You can get dual autographs. Those are really tough. Uh, one thing I don't like, and I feel like I'm due to get one, is when you hit the Bowman autos. So you get a guy who's got barely any major league experience. You get a buyback from like Bowman from the previous year. Anyway, let's see what the 2023 version has for us. And it is Luke Voigt. Yikes. So that's definitely not one we were uh, hoping for. It is serial numbered out of 31. At least he's in a Yankees uniform. He did lead the majors in home runs in 2020 during that pandemic shortened season. But I would imagine that is probably like five to ten bucks if you're lucky and the cost of these boxes um you can get them on sale sometimes in the 50s but they can be as high as like 75 as well so there you go two cards that you'd be better off buying as singles but if you buy them as a single you don't get the thrill and sometimes the disappointment of breaking them comment below let me know what you think of tops archive signature series it's definitely not a product that's aged that well wouldn't mind see them taking a few years off from it and then maybe bring it back at some point. But it does serve a purpose. It is cool for autograph collectors. And it's definitely a money maker for tops because the cards cost them very little. The cases cost a little bit. And then, of course, they are paying these guys under uh, contract anyway to sign. Let me know what you think, and I will talk to you next time. Have a great one.